With me is Rick Small from Thunder Bay, and back there is the device, the contraption, his e-trike that he's riding cross Canada on. Solarized. Solarized yeah. e-trike. There you go. That's the important thing. That's the panels you see on the side there. So you've got six panels, you were saying, and they're yeah. each 48 foot. Uh, yeah, they're 12 volt panels, uh, 2.9 amps each, hooked in series to create a 48, 48 volt system. And two of them, they're hooked in parallel to give me six amps at uh, 48 volts. 48 volts, but when the sun is shining on them, it's actually a lot higher. So that's like 300 watts of power. Uh, so yeah. It, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And the power plant on that—that's a standard electric scooter that you've modified, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Is the power plant the original? Yep. So you did this all yourself? Yep. yep. Uh, you self-taught? Uh, yep. You... Okay. So self-taught solar. You've been on the road for how long now? Uh, started July 31st. July 31st? Oh, that's and, not too bad. So. And I could have been in Victoria a lot longer if I would have did four simple things. Okay, four simple things. First simple thing is the trike. Mm -hmm. About 100 to 130 pounds too much steel and iron. Okay. Like the deck and that front part for wind resistance. You remove that, your distance really increases. Two, I left the wall charger at home. Actually, I put on 6,300 kilometers on that, and okay. I've never plugged it in the wall. Wow. Yeah. 6,300 kilometers. Yeah. And number three, uh, from Thunder Bay to two days after Winnipeg, I wasn't running with tilted panels. Okay. And then after that, I noticed my distance decreasing, the sun going down, so I started tilting my panels. And I kept the trailer flat. Well, if I ran, went around with full tilted panels, it should pack a few more weeks. Right. Those are 50 watt panels. If they were 60 watt panels, it should pack another two weeks. So okay. I would have been there a long time ago. So if you were traveling along the equator, then you wouldn't have to have that tilt because the sun would be right overhead. But way up here in the northern latitudes, you got to yeah. tilt it. East. Yeah. The further north you go, the more tilt yeah. there is. And you were saying coming through the mountains, it would be nice to be able to turn them as well because the yeah. road does this. Yeah. I guess it's curving it's so much. much yeah. Yeah, okay. Sometimes you're reversing the directions instead of the sun being on the left-hand side and next thing you know it's on the right. So this is a bit of a prairie e-scooter and it's not really adapted for the mountains completely. Oh, that's yeah, very well. Okay. The part where you said you left your charger at home, so you've only been running off of the sun. Yeah. So how far do you get on a charge? Uh, my best day coming across the prairies was 90 kilometers. My average on the prairies was uh, 60 to 70 kilometers per day. Wow. Yeah. So you get 90 kilometers and you have to find a place to but down. Again, if I remove that weight, yep. Yep. Yeah. If I didn't have all my personal gear, she'd be out more with more solar panels. So. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so solar horsepower taking you across the prairies. Mm -hmm. A bit faster than the Conestoga wagon, I'm sure, but... Uh, oh, yeah. Horse can't keep up to that. Yeah, okay. Well, that's pretty interesting. So do you get lots of looks? Oh, everybody. Lots yeah. of people stop, lots of people look. But I'd like to say one thing. I've offered to have people at the races and the uh, carbon converting cars. Mm -hmm. They won't accept it. And I say there's simply one rule. And that one rule is we go solo. Which means I go alone and you go alone and we pretend nobody else exists in the world. Which means you gotta make your own gasoline, mm -hmm. you gotta make your own fuel, and I'll have you a race. I'll be across country sitting there drinking tequilas before you even out there out of the <laughs> gate. <laughs> so it's a very fast machine. <laughs> Oh, there you go. It all counts. Oh, yeah. That's right. Run, yeah. Okay, so when do you plan to hit Victoria as your ultimate target, you're saying? Uh, depending on the cloud, uh, the weather. I still have some terrain to go through. But uh, I got 10, uh, average of uh, about 50 kilometers a day. Uh, so we'll say 10 days I'm sitting in Victoria. 10 nice sunny days. <laughs> So that'll be one, two, two and a half months, basically. Yeah. Okay. And you're going to spend the winter in our nice west coast temperatures? And, yeah. And then you're going to head back on that thing? Oh, no, or? I'm going to scoot around and have fun. Okay. Well, I made it. Oh, well, there you yeah. go. Free, yeah. almost free transportation. It is, yeah. Yeah, definitely. How long did it take you to make that thing? 
Uh, the trailer took me 40 hours in my living room. Okay. And it took me about 24 hours to adopt the solar to the trailer. That's fitting and popping the parts. Okay. And aside from the, the electric bike itself, how much do you figure you put into this? Uh, electric bike? Uh, 46 minus 28. Okay. Mm -hmm. 1800 or something. Yeah, There you go. You can travel across the country in less than $10,000. Okay, well, thank you very much. Is there any words you'd like to have for people that might want to follow in your footsteps? Uh, yeah, lots of people use these things. Mm -hmm. well, solar works off of artificial light. So if you're bringing a street lamp from 40 feet up down to 8 feet, Bill Lightways, it's non-stop around the world. I never thought of that. And number two, in cold weather, people are complaining, well, what do we do about cold weather? A uh, simple solution I tell them is like build greenhouses, arc shapes, say 12 feet wide, 8 feet high, and run through them. Because when it's 20 or 30 below outside, well, the sun's out, which means inside that greenhouse it's 15 to 20 below Celsius. There's no wind, no snow, no rain. Mm -hmm. Something solution. to think about, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much, mm -hmm. and good luck on your trip. Uh, and you. hope you have a good stay or evening and morning, I guess, here. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. I'll have breakfast here, and hopefully the sun will be out, and I'll be running for Los Oyos. Oh, well. <laughs> good luck with that. Yeah.